All right, what's good, y'all? So look, we live, about to do some live trading. It's a brand new week. Let's get to some money. Let's put some work in. Um, as you can see, today we're about to take a trade on GBPUSD, a sale. I got, um, I'm gonna be taking a tr the trade at 1.24000. Inside this fair value, you got, inside this fair value, you got basically. My stop loss is gonna be 1.24200, and my TP gonna be 1.23800. So I'm really just going for a one-on-one -on, -one on this trade. Not trying to hold it too long, uh, just because it's Monday, and ain't no news coming out, and the market really just trying to set itself up. But I think that we could come fill this fair value gap and push back down. So if y'all wondering what the setup is, looking at the chart, as you can see, if we go down, if we go up to the one hour chart, you can see that we had um. Well, let's go to the H4 right quick. I literally hate when they do this. So let me delete this off the screen right quick because it's just it's just distraction. But looking at the chart, as you can see, we pushed into this um, level of liquidity up here, right here. As you can see, we broke those highs. And now basically what's going on is prices rejecting from this area, right? So you go down to the smaller time frame, you can see how we had this bearish engulfing candle on the one hour, right after we just uh, ran into some buy side liquidity. That's a perfect, looking setup and it's a one hour fair value gap as well so everything lining up like it should so we go down to the smaller time frame you can see the 15 minute and this is where we really want to pay attention to because the 15 minute we end up breaking structure right here as y'all can see we pushed down below this low and created a market structure shift right after grabbing some liquidity as well so we ended up pushing into this 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 buy side liquidity at this white line right here price then came down a little bit and created a new high but aggressively pushed back down below into the range, right? So that's giving us a good signal that price is trying to go lower. Um, also, looking at the, the daily, you can see that we pushed all the way up last week, but we never came back down. So in order for price to continue to go higher, if that's what they want to do, it will have to come back down into a premium, right? So we're going to basically try to sell as price start to go back down. I mean, not a premium, but into a discount. So, um... Yeah, so that's basically what we're looking for. We're trying to catch that entry on that fair value gap. It hasn't turned 9.30 yet, so New York session hasn't started yet. But that's basically what we're waiting on to happen. Hopefully, I can make a couple thousand dollars off this trade. As always, if y'all not in my signals chat, man, y'all need to get in there. I'm sending trades almost every day, multiple trades a day, depending on, you know what I'm saying, what day it is. Monday usually a slow day, so I don't really send too many trades on Mondays, but the rest of the week, I kind of be in my flow zone. So if y'all want to get into the signals chat, Get into the signals chat now. Link is the first link in the description down below. Also, we almost had 10,000 subscribers, so I want to say I appreciate y'all for that. We at 8,600 right now. Close to 10K, man. Like I told y'all, at 10K, I'm going to be doing a, a 100K prop firm challenge giveaway for y'all. So all y'all got to do is give me the 10K, and I'm going to give it to somebody random in the comment section. So, And look, I got another favor I need from y'all. I need y'all to go follow me on my Instagram right now. I'm going to put my Instagram on screen. Y'all go follow me on Instagram because there's a bunch of scammers making fake pages of me. That's not me. They buying followers to make it look like it's me. So y'all need to go juice my Instagram up. Give me the 10K followers on Instagram. And if I hit 10K followers on Instagram, I'll do a 50K prop firm challenge giveaway to a random subscriber as well. So, so a 100K challenge if we get the 10K subscribers on YouTube. And a 50K challenge if y'all give me the 10K followers on Instagram. Uh, as y'all can see, we pushing into that fair value you got now. We'll be pushing towards it anyway. I think it's going to be a, a trade that play out. Um, like I said, depending on where, where price start to go and where I send the signal at. Because I might adjust when I send a trade out, right? Because I haven't even placed a trade on my own account yet. But 1.23800, that's going to be uh, the first target right here. Um, it really should be at this low right here, honestly. That's why I said I got to wait and see where we get in at. Because if we get in a little bit higher, then I'll just have my stop here at 826. Um, so if we could get in at 1.24026, that'd be perfect. Because then we could just take it at this low. So we about to see what happened. Um, I'm waiting for that 930 to, to push price up toward the upside. It's slow right now. But I think we're going to get there. I'll be, be hating when it takes so long to just hit that fair value. You got, bro, just go into it and just come down. We know what you're trying to do. But look, while we waiting on that, I don't know if any of y'all um looking to take a prop firm challenge right now. 
But if y'all are, it's a prop firm I recommend, right? This prop firm is called My Flash Funding. The thing I like about this prop firm is they literally got 6% profit targets, right? So I know y'all probably be getting sick and tired of doing those 10% challenges or y'all probably fail a lot of them where y'all got to pass 10%. For phase one, five percent for phase two, or eight percent phase one, five percent phase two. This firm actually lets you get both phases, phase one and phase two, for six percent. I'm doing one of these challenges right now myself. Um, but if y'all want to take one of these challenges, I highly recommend the firm. It's like my second time trying to pass a challenge. The first one was a 50k I did, and I failed it. I was just rushing through it, honestly. But um, I'm doing the 200k right now. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to take this, if y'all want to take this prop firm challenge y'all could use code kenzo at checkout for 25 percent off any challenge on the website and the reason y'all probably like so i've been doing like shorter take profits now for myself also because i be wanting to just get out the trade bro it's like i get into a trade and i gotta sit in there for hours at a time to try to catch 40 pips you know what i'm saying i already got the patience for that so now what i do is i just up my up my leverage on the account or like you know what i'm saying up my lot size going with a little bit higher lot and I'll just take my 20 pips and get off the charts for the day. Cause you do you, th you do the math. You get 20 pips a day, five days a week. That's a hundred pips. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and that's, that's only taking one trade a day. I take multiple trades a day, right? Especially like Tuesday through Friday. I'm taking maybe two or three trades a day, depending on if I get up during London or, you know what I'm saying? But you lower those profit targets, you lower those pip targets, and then you will see that your trade will change a lot. You will see you start to, you know what I'm saying, hit a lot of, hit a lot more of your trades, secure a lot more of your money, because you're not trying to catch the big move every single trade. You gotta know which trades is worth the big move and what's not. Now, a trade set up like this, this is worth a big move. Like, you could probably expect it to go toward here, or at least take out these lows down here. So it's a very good setup to go short, but, like I said, it's Monday. So I know tomorrow they probably do something to push back up somewhere in here to try to continue to go down. So like I said, I'ma just let the trade play out today, catch this quick 20 pips, and then get out the market and wait for tomorrow to give me something better. And remember, everything I'm doing on here is live for y'all. So y'all gotta like really just watch the watch the candlesticks form. That's the reason I do long videos, because I want y'all to see everything going on. I don't wanna skip to a certain part where it already hit the fair value gap and then start moving down to my TP. I want y'all to see how the candlesticks moving. I want y'all to see that no matter what's going on right here, if we don't tap into this area, if, if it don't tap into your entry area, you do not take the entry. A lot, I know a lot of people, they get into a, they'll be looking for price to come to a specific point, right? And then they'll see like a candle like this start to reject. And they think that, oh, it's rejecting this low right here. So let me get into the trade. You, know, you gotta not think like that, bro. Just cause you see, if you trying to go short and you see a red candle forming, don't just short the, you get, st stick to your plan. Stick to where you said you was gonna get in at. You said you gonna get in right here, get in right here. If it don't happen, then it don't happen. Who cares? It's always gonna be another day to trade. And then we'll go ahead and get into it. So we gonna send this signal out now. And we gonna place our trades. Let me see, I'm gonna do a couple of fives. All right, so we're going to do, I can't, y'all know I be having problems with this leverage on this account. I'm, I'm going to just make a whole new account and just switch the money over and do one 500 because I don't like not being able to uh, risk a little bit more. So we're going to put our stop at 1.24200 and our TP at 1.24800. I mean, two, three, eight hundred. So let's see what happened with this trade. As y'all can see, we in it now. I'm expecting a quick 20 pips off this move. Like I said, I did send this trade out to my signals chat, as y'all can see. Sell GU at 1.24 thousand. Stop loss at 1.24200. TP1, 1 1.23 800. So let's see what happened. Let's see if we can catch some quick money. Yo, the charts been the charts been busting too though. I ain't gonna lie, last week was crazy. That NFP day was crazy last week. Market went stupid. I ain't think it was gonna go go that crazy. But let's see what happened. I'm thinking this uh this candle right here gonna gonna probably be the one that take us down there. I don't know though. We're gonna see. It's a big fair value gap. So it's possible price could push up and try to fill it. 
we gonna see what happens. As y'all can see, we on this $8,000 account, $8,600. I'm trying to get it to 10K right quick. Then when I get it to 10K, we gonna start going a little bit more crazy because they are letting me risk a little more. So I'll be able to do like 10 lots, um, you know what I'm saying, on the trades. So we scale it up very quick. I'm showing you how to scale these accounts up fast. But see, y'all see what happened though? But this is why I always tell y'all, when y'all taking a fair value gap trade, you gotta always just, you gotta take it right at the high of the candle that created the fair value gap. Only because you never know if it's gonna actually push up and fill the, fill the, the entire fair value gap. That's what we would like to see, uh, because it give you a better entry. Say if you was the, if it was to push up about 50% or fill this entire thing, you could've got an entry up here. But you never know if it's gonna go all the way up here. So it's like, when, you, when it comes to these fair value gaps, the way you could play it is you could get your first entry here as price start to go in the drawdown more and more. Um, to fill in that fair value gap, you can add more entries, still expecting for it to come down, right? Especially because it's a 15 minute fair value gap. This is why I tell y'all, the higher the time frame, the higher probability that that fair value gap is going to be, right? If you're taking this on a one minute chart, of course it's going to probably hit your stop loss, right? But if you're taking it on a 15 minute or higher, you got a way higher chance of it hitting your TP because you're playing off a very reactive level on a higher time frame. So, like, basically what I'm trying to do is, right, this week I might, um, I think I'm going to be switching brokers, right? I'm going to be switching brokers. I'm probably put, like, 15000 in a new broker and try it out um, only because I'm looking for a broker that got, like, faster withdrawals and, and stuff like that because... The broker I'm using now, they don't do withdrawals on the weekends. Um, and sometimes I be wanting to withdraw my money on the weekend, you know what I'm saying? But you can't do it until the weekday, until Monday. So like KOT, I might use KOT. I might switch over to KOT or I might switch over to Sway Markets. I want to try that broker out. I'm probably making an account on it a day. But KOT, I know for sure KOT lets you withdraw on the weekends because I used to use them back in the day. So or eagle fx I'm, i don't know i'm gonna I'm, I'm try one of these brokers out one of my homies was telling me to try out athens but we'll see whatever broker i end up using y'all gonna see i'm gonna put it on my um y'all gonna see me trading on it because i'm gonna switch the money over into that broker so y'all gonna see me y'all gonna see me using a new broker probably next week so i got a couple options i'm gonna see what i'm gonna use but I don't y'all been asking me in the comment section what broker do i use and like recommend that's why i haven't really recommended y'all nothing because I'm thinking about switching brokers myself, so if I'm thinking about switching a broker, I'm not going to tell y'all to sign up to a broker that I'm not even going to be using, so we'll see what happens next week. If I don't do it next week, I'll do it the week after, but I'm definitely planning on switching brokers, though. But as you can see, price moving down, though, we up $365 in a couple of minutes. And the reason I do these videos like this is because this is attainable for y'all, right? $50,000 profits and $60,000 profits, that's, yeah, it's attainable. For y'all but y'all gotta get there you get what i'm saying but y'all y'all just seeing somebody else making a thousand dollars five hundred dollars a thousand dollars a day doing barely nothing bro i'm barely doing nothing my morning just started i woke up around nine o'clock right wash my face brush my teeth hop straight on the charts for y'all you get what i'm saying so y'all if y'all can make money this quick if y'all seeing me make money this fast it puts something in y'all brain that y'all could do it too and that's all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to prove to y'all that y'all could do this too. And that's why I'm literally getting on the charts every day and doing this live, which I, I don't care. It don't matter how much I make. If I if I got a trade and I make $100,000 on it, I'll show y'all that I made that much money. If I got a trade and I made $1,000, I'm going to show y'all I made a thousand because I don't trade large capital every single day. You got to know which moves, that, the, which moves are worth it for your bigger accounts, right? Because would you want to sit there and lose $20,000 on a trade that is low, it's, it's like, you don't really it don't really line up with the higher time frame of bias it's just like you get what i'm saying you want to understand what time of the year you in we in the fourth quarter so you got to be able to um have multiple different ways you trade and the, the key is just to keep income coming in right don't matter how much it is little big the key to this game is just to come out in a profit right a profit beats a salary any day a thousand dollars a day that's five thousand dollars a week if you could win a trade every day right so it's like, and then you only scale it up as you go. I'm telling y'all, bro, there's so much stuff you could do with this trading stuff once you really understand it and get it down. But that's why I'm showing y'all everything live. As y'all can see, we took this trade right here. I sent it to my signals chat. We pushing down the TP right now. Only thing I'm, I'm, I'm worried about a little bit is this low. I want to see how they react when we get to this low. Because this really should have been the first target, but... um. 
I'm trying to go for a 420 pips, right? I risked 20 pips, so I need to get a 420 pips. So I'm thinking we might just push through that, through that low, and tap into our um, TP. But as you can see right now, we have $655, and we barely even did anything. So let's see what happened. Um, and at 1.23800 is a is a institutional level since it's an even number 800. I'm thinking that we can hit that, especially since it's GU. GU gonna do something. GU going I feel like when you get into a trade on GU on a higher time frame, it's gonna at least give you 30 pips from your entry. But today I'm just taking that 20 because I want to get close to this low, right? So we're gonna see what happens. Price should start to push down and, and start taking out these lows soon and push down into this um area right here. But overall, I'm expecting for GU to continue to push down and, and take out all this down here. So this could have really been a a great swing entry. But I'm not going to swing it on this account because it's like, why? I don't even got enough capital to hold. I mean, this account don't even have enough money in with the lot size I'm using for me to hold it all the way down there without, like saying if price was a reverse and going to drawdown, I wouldn't be able to hold the drawdown that long. You get what I'm saying? Because especially on GU, maybe if it, if it was on EU, I could do something like that because EU let you, um, the price points on EU is a lot more tighter, right? 20 pips on EU might be just, might be 40 pips on GU. Uh, 20 pips on GU is only like a 10 pip stop loss on EU. So it's like, it depends on what setup look cleaner. GU looked like the cleanest setup, so I took GU. Um, EU was sloppy, so we ain't messing with it. So always take the trade that, that's, that's showing me the cleaner setup. That's why I look at both pairs. Or like I'll pull up Euro USD and I'll pull up GU. If I'm planning on trading those two pairs, I mean, if I'm planning on trading one of those pairs for the day, I'm gonna take whichever one look the cleanest. I don't have my mind set that I'm stuck on Euro USD, and I don't got my mind set on that I'm stuck on GU. Whichever one give me the better setup, that's the one I'm taking. I don't care if I'm gonna do a set, I'm gonna do an analysis on both of them. But whichever one give me the better setup, that's the pair I'm gonna trade. So we've been killing it though, as y'all can see. Um, we three members away from 100 in the signal shot. Euro USD, we've been killing it. We've been killing the market though, past couple days. 20 pips on uh, GU the other day. Um, another 30 pips on GU. Another 20 pips on GU before that. I mean, 30 pips on GU before that. So usually y'all take 30 pips on GU. But right now we're going for that. We're just going for a quick one-to-one. -one, so. so price playing around a little bit. Um, it pushed down. But this candle right here. I mean, this candle rejected a, a bunch from this level down here. But we still not worried about it. Like I said, even if price was to come back up and try to fill this gap, we not worried about it. Our overall bias is still toward the downside. Um, I still expect for it to push down to that low. And it's just going to take some time. We never get in the market and it just push straight to our TP in, in seconds unless it's news. So ain't no news coming out today. So we just got to wait and let it play out. Um, that's all we really could do. I just sit here and, and do something else during that time. I never really like to just sit here and watch watch um, the candles doing nothing. But as you can see, as I'm saying that, the market is actually moving pretty fast now. So let me get this signal off the screen right quick. I know it's probably blocking y'all from seeing what's going on. But as y'all can see, we starting to push down now, up $600. Um, it's going to be a $1,000 trade. Like I said, I did a video the other, I did a video last week called How to Make $1,000 a Day Trading Gold. The same setup that I was showing y'all how to do that on go is literally the same setup right here for GU. Um, it's the same exact thing. So if y'all ain't see that video, go watch that video. But I basically just explained what it is. You want to have a higher time frame drawn liquidity, right? The higher time frame drawn liquidity was this white line that we got right here. It was a level on a daily. Um, as you can see, it was a high on a daily chart. Price started to reject off of it on the hourly, right? We seen a fair value gap after it broke structure. And then we wait for price to push into the fair value gap and hit our target. So, all right. So as we approach our take profit, I want to know how y'all um, starting y'all week off. Did y'all get y'all meditation in for the week? Um, ain't even a weekly thing. Right? I need y'all do that daily. Every time before you get on the charts, 15 minutes before you get on the charts, just do like a start off doing 10 minutes of meditation. Get your mind in the right spot, right? The reason I was able to come on the charts and be so clear-minded is because I, I do that meditation, bro. I swear to God, it changed a lot for me and my trading, bro, because it just make you a lot more calmer. 
you gotta really start to understand it though. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to force nothing on nobody, but I think it's something that y'all should start doing. One of my old mentors, he the one stopped, told me to start doing that. Cause I was real like, I was a real anxious person. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting in the charts. I wanna, I want everything to happen right now, right then and there. But I had to learn to be more calm, bro. This is, and controlling your emotions is the, is the biggest key to this art. And I call it an art cause it is an art, right? We not doing nothing just for no reason. Everything got a reason. We painting pictures on the charts. Every time y'all see this right here, this is a picture being painted, bro. Like, every video I do is gonna be the same type of setup basically every single time. Cause I got one trading setup. I mean, I got, now I stick to this one setup. I don't really need to trade too many more different things. Cause this setup happens every day, right? It happened every single day across one pair. If it don't happen on this pair that I'm looking at right now, it'll happen on another pair. I can have 20 pairs pulled up. It's gonna happen on one of them. So it's like, this is why I always say, give yourself multiple opportunities to win. But as you can see, a thousand dollar trade, it's about to hit TP right now. It literally just hit TP. I don't know why it's playing around, but what's going on? Now we're about to close. This just ain't playing games. But as y'all can see, TP was hit. That's why I said I was trying to trade a new broker because I be hating when it do that. Like when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when it hit my take profit and then it don't take me out, it's the most annoying thing because the price could literally just reverse. But y'all see what we did. Nine hundred dollar trade for the day. Um, now the account balance is at nine thousand four hundred seventy one. So we five hundred dollars away from being at ten k. Y'all will see that in the next video. We are gonna scale this account up. Twenty k, thirty k, forty k. Um, y'all gonna see me do this live. So, like I said, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like I said, at, a, at 10K subscribers, I'm giving away a 100K prop firm challenge, my flash funding. Um, if y'all want to just buy y'all own challenge and save 25%, use code Kenzo. My flash funding prop firm will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to get into the signal chat, link in the description, sign up. I'm sending y'all every trade. Y'all seeing me do this live, I'm winning. Right, y'all want to come win? Come join the team, and also follow me on my Instagram at I'm Kenzo. At, at 10k followers on there, I'm gonna give away a 50k profit. I'm challenge to one of y'all lucky subscribers. So I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Peace.